Hello and welcome to the Nesquik Imagination Station. This month we're setting out on the high seas and today we're going to make a paper plate porthole. It's really fun and colourful to make. But before we start, you'll need to find the following. You need two pieces of fun foam, some PVA glue, a bradle, some scissors, double-sided tape, magic tape, strong glue, coloured card, tissue paper and two paper plates. Please ask an adult's permission before you use these things and also adults you may need to help with the slightly tricky bits. So the first thing you need to do is get your paper plate and you're going to get the bradle and put a hole in the middle and then you're going to cut all the way around the inside of the plate and it will look like this. Once you've done that, get your second paper plate and your PVA glue and you're going to put some glue onto the plate and then we're going to get our tissue paper for the C and we're going to tear strips of the tissue paper and stick them down. I'm going to have some light blue and then some darker blue and work your way down to the bottom of the plate and when that's done get your glue and just paint some over the top once this is dry it will give a beautiful sheen like the sea so I'm going to leave that to dry there and you'll find it looks like this one so once that's done you're ready to make your fish I've cut mine out of yellow and orange card so here are my fish, I'm going to glue them down with some strong glue. Now these fish are quite simple but you can make any fish you want and you can choose whatever colours you want as well. You might want some glittery fish or some silver fish, it's up to you. So I've stuck three down there but you can stick lots more. And now we're ready to add a slightly bigger fish that I've made. And this one's extra special. I've decorated it with some silver pen and attached some cotton string. And I'm going to stick this down onto the plate with some magic tape. I'm going to stick it onto the back and this will give it a 3D effect. So once you've done that, you're ready to make some reeds. Now I've cut mine out of green card and I've put some double-sided tape along the bottom and you're going to get your other plate that you cut a circle in and they're going to sit just underneath the plate so you can see them peeking out along the bottom. So I'm going to peel that off. You could use glue or sellotape to do this. Put them along the bottom and there you are. Now we need to stick the two plates together. So I've put double sided tape along here again but you could use the glue. I'm just going to peel these off to stick the other plate down. So squeeze down the size to make sure it's all stuck and you can see it's really taking shape. All that we need to do now is add the rivets. Now I've cut mine out of fun foam in blue and white but you could choose any colour you wanted and you could also use card if you wanted to. So I'm going to stick these around the edges and you can work them all the way around the sides of your paper plate. So once you're finished, it should look something like this. And there you have your paper plate porthole. But before we set sail, let's have a look at some real sea creatures. If you love making this paper plate porthole, then why not share this video with your friends and see if they can make one as fantastic as yours.